rise and shine more like rise and grind because my bestie little dicka just released a brand new stuff pack called rise and grind coffee house for my sims 4 game and i've been waiting to download this for ages now and now that he's released it i can finally have all of my sims drink coffee to their heart's content and be a little bit more hyperactive than i already am now personally i haven't done a cc overview for stuff packs in a very long time and i am wanting to bring them back so we're doing the first of many but let me know in the comments below what is your favorite cc you would like to download in your sims for a game but also how big is your mods folder i won't tell your sponsor we don't have to talk about it cc added anonymous we don't we just don't have to but you need to remember cc is not an addiction it's a lifestyle period <laughs> we've got to get that straight okay yes so like i said little dicka is a very talented cc creator he makes a lot of custom content and mods all the time and every time i see him post something on like twitter tumblr or his patreon i'm like bestie keep going you do you never stop the grind never stops <laughs> get it because rise and grind the grind never stops. Anyway, regardless, Little Dicka is a very talented CC creator. He actually had help from a bunch of other creators who help him with this stuff pack. So I will link all the creators down below in the description, along with his Patreon, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, everything you need to know about this stuff pack that has come to life for a Sims game. Now, the stuff pack does release for everyone around the world on the 26th of December, which is basically next week. So it's right now in his early access Patreon if you want to get it now for like $5. But when I saw all these objects on his like Tumblr and Twitter and Patreon, I was so beyond over the moon of how detailed everything is because Little Dicka has like this special quality when it makes when he makes custom content where you think, oh, this is different. I've never seen this before in the game because you haven't. He thought of something, made it happen, and now it's a reality. And so I'm just like, can I have more of this please and thank you? Like honestly, my dream pack that he could make is probably an all yellow stuff pack just for me because yellow is the best color as you all know but something also mid-century modern is what i would love to see next after this one but what's really cool is that luddy simmer actually helped him with the concept art and also artwork nando helped with the pack icon lumia made the trailer Cybulet made the build items little simsy named a few of the items i was there for that moment in that stream of hers a long time ago but then also ravishing helped with the bill the buy items actually but i have to say when lumia made this trailer when the first time i saw it i was like is this an actual like stuff pack for the sims because lumia works for the sims team now with trailers and i'm just like he took his job and his talent and his expertise to make a stuff pack for a custom content creator and made it real and i'm just like i love this i literally love every single aspect of this it's like starbucks but in the sims so it's like a win-win scenario we get a free stuff pack and we also get a trailer on top of it that's so professional and so amazing looking that i'm like yo i love it like every single thing in this trailer looks so good like i love the coffee cups i love the artwork i love even like the cool thing about this is like all these objects in this trailer like this right here like the poster board the lights even like everything looks so freaking cool i even love like the, the tables and the chairs oh it's malcolm land grab doing his homework escaping from his parents because you know that mansion of his is quite toxic nancy jeffrey they crazy now like i said i will link his patreon down below if you want to get it early for yourself before or you can wait until the 26th to get it for yourself for free now I have to say that when you're combining coffee, I automatically think of Get Together because Get Together came with like this whole like atmosphere of Windenburg, you know, European, historical and coffee drinking. So it has like a very not like modern and industrial touch to it, which is so perfect. And I honestly love it. And it actually says some items in this pack require Get Together to function properly more at the bottom of the page. Okay, so you might need Get Together for some of the items in this stuff pack. But regardless, the majority of it is all base game compatible. So you shouldn't have really much issues with it. But personally, sign me up, bestie. I'm ready. I love this. And 80 items, 80 items. 80th is a sound uh, emitter for the ambient sound. <gasps> but this looks so freaking cool. Like, I am like so beyond excited about this. Like it's... <sighs> You are so good. You are literally the best of the best. I love you for this, so keep it going. So what I'm gonna do is definitely take out all of my mods that I have currently out of my game so we can like only look at the new build and buy items from Little Dicka. That way it's much easier and less chaotic and uh, not misorganized for myself. Cause personally, I'm a person who really likes to have organization. Now my mods were isn't really organized right now, 
because personally I tend to forget to organize things when need be but that's beside the point i'm perfectly okay with you know having a little bit of an old z but good z type of stuff in my game but organization is key now i'm gonna make a whole new folder called little dicka because personally he deserves a folder he deserves to be in my mods folder and all you really got to do is basically is drag and drop every single file into your mods folder and you're basically good to go now there is a merge version where it basically is all the files merged into one single little file so you should be like perfectly fine if you want to get the merged or separate i prefer separate because i can see everything and organize it however i so please but we all have our different preferences it's totally okay so i forgot to mention that little dicka actually provided tray files for the coffee house that you saw in the trailer so if you want to get it for yourself and not build your own you can definitely grab it off of his patreon for sure but the way this works if you don't know how to import tray files into your sims 4 game is go to your sims 4 folder and then click the tray folder right here now if you see a bunch of like things in this folder don't delete those those actually mean that you have builds and sims you saved on your own personal gallery page and if you delete those your sims and builds might be gone forever if you delete them entirely now don't do that if you want to ruin your game but if you want the coffee house ground download it off his patreon and then just drag and drop and you're basically kind of good to go i already have it imported but i wanted to show you how to install tray files into your game of course but now this time i truly mean it let's go ahead and hop into the sims 4 and show all the items so now that we're into the game i can finally get into the juicy stuff or the grindy stuff called rise and grind by little dicka i am so excited about this because personally after seeing the trailer i knew it was going to be great in game but now that i have it in my game i can see as my own two eyes of the variety the texture the contrast between all of them it should be really really good especially the modern and industrial vibe that it brings it speaks to me and now personally i'm a person who likes to see things in many different ways but i also like the contrast and the consistency of swatches and from what i could tell is that the swatches we have are a lot we have a lot of swatches in these chairs and personally i couldn't get enough of it I would love more because the more the merrier is always my thing. The more swatches we have, the better. I really like this texture right here. This like white and like light tan wood texture is really cool. And then we also have the scholar chair that reminds me of school. And that's scary because I just got done with school again, but I love it either way. And this bar stool right here reminds me of Starbucks. And looking at this entire stuff pack, that's custom content. It's giving me Starbucks vibes. I don't drink coffee, but I am a tea drinker. So having a sense of like, you know, tea or like Tivana is like my vibe. And this brings me so much joy, especially like all the counters that we have and the variety of counters we have is really cool and very nice. Like the different variations of this one counter in many different ways is nice. I like all the individual drawers, the cabinets, even like the little vents in the back look really cool and the texture up top as well. And then we also have the Starstruck Island counter. Now this is giving me like very Hollywood bougie vibes to me and I don't know why, but I like it and I would love to see more of this please because I've been to Hollywood once, but it's definitely giving me like major Hollywood-esque vibes for sure. Like I really like the idea behind these like counters the different individual like slots because I'm pretty sure you actually can put things under it because now ever since we got Snowy Escape, we have the ability to put things under our counters anyway but that's the counter it looks like an s and i love it but then we also have the sous chef island counter so we have the same counter here but as an island and then we also have the curvature starstruck you know counter which i love and you know what's funny it reminds me of a smile and i, I kind of like it so like if you put this right here and there and you size this down you basically have a face two eyes, um, a nose and a mouth. But then also, what if I do this? Hold up. <laughs> this is not part of the review. Um, what if we do like this? <laughs> Wait, spread it out. Hold up. Spread it out. <laughs> this is literally a face. I love it. You know, this is, how, this is my emotion, my exact emotion, how I exactly feel. I think that all these like table descriptions and titles are just so freaking cool. They're very funny. Like they're all very similar, basically the same table, but in different variations. Like you have the singular circle ones, short and tall, and they have the same ones of like whatever you might have here. It just looks so cool. I really like the variety of, of all this and adding in like these bar stools to here is really good because that way you have a sense of like, 
oh, you want to have your sim study at a bar or, you know, at a lovely coffee shop, you can definitely do that. Now, we also have this coffee table here. And I like how everything is very industrial, but it has like a very modern touch to it. So I like the wood tones and like the industrial like beams and oh, this is what I live for every day. I simply cannot wait to do more reviews of stuff packs of custom content because people are so freaking talented. It kind of, you know, feels in the void of my content shout when we don't get any stuff packs or game packs or expansion packs or kits in The Sims 4. So we download CC to fill in that void. Now, this is a thing that I always see in Starbucks a lot. And this is actually the coffee bar. Now, this comes in a variety of different things you can do. You can place things on the counters inside of these slots under here. We also have like this lovely like lemon lime vase morning coffee companion where it's 290 simoleons. I like this. Like this is so, ooh, it's so nice. It's really good. What we also have is a shade thrower. Now this is a thing that you shouldn't put in between these things, but it does look pretty nice to put it right here. A little shade thrower throw in some shade for your sims and then get burnt up in the sun. You got that right there for you. So that looks really nice. I love the shade thrower. It does come in a variety of different swatches, like a lot of swatches. This is what I live for every single day. I even love the yellow swatch. This pleases me very much so. You best believe we're gonna have a coffee shop in yellow. You mark my words, it's going to happen. We also have these coffee bins here. We have the regular bags that you can grab and go, and then the entire coffee beans from the coffee you drink. So I've seen these things IRL, like in Starbucks and like other like grocery stores, usually more so like grocery stores like have like these type of like bins, at least mine do, where you can like literally scoop coffee beans and pour them into a bag and like wrap it up. And then you just buy it yourself based on how many pounds or ounces, ounces they might be. And um, that's what it is. And I think that's just so realistic. We also have these air ducts as well. The Mice Secret Society Tunnels, curved and straight, worth both 200 or 115 simoleons. Oh, that is so cool. It would be so funny if you actually could hear like mice kind of like talking into the like little vents. I don't know, that'd be funny. That'd be very funny if that could happen. But personally, I think this looks nice. I like the variety where you can choose between a vent on the side or no vent. So that pleases me a lot. Oh, it's also on, on both sides. Oh, okay. I like that. I like having something like that's sleek and clean and modern with no vents on one side. But if I want to change it up, I can add that in. Now, this one, I feel like this was, was named by Kayla because it's sus. But then again, I don't really know, honestly. But I kind of like this. I really do like this. It would have been really cool if we got like um, cabinets along with this one to like attach to the side of this. But you know, I'm okay with that. I still like this either way. I like the little, uh, poke the whole holy vent thing whatever you want to call it. it's a it's holy basically and it looks nice <laughs> i like the little like swiggly line back on here again me and these wood tones do be vibing left and right and i do love it we also have the spice shakers tumblers both clear and non-clear now this one comes in three i think four or five swatches four swatches actually we have the clear tumbler and then we have the solid one which i think just looks so freaking cool like look at these tumblers these tumblers look so cool you can't get more than this you could but you know hey I still like it. I like the black one here and then I could let the pink one here, but the black one does look nice too. And again, you can change it however you want. And I like it. It's Starbies or Simsbees, Sims Bucks. <laughs> Sim Bucks, that's what it's called, Sims Bucks. Now, what I saw in the trailer that I really liked was the stair stairway to flavor because you have your you know flavor pump thingies and they have your rises over here where you can add in like your coffee beans for the day or more flavors of some sorts that you want to add into here. You have your purple one, you got your green one, you got your yellow one, you got your red one. So different flavors for different days. And I think that's really cool. And of course you don't want to flip it to the customer side because customers do be like, I'll just have one pump. But in reality, it's like 15 pumps and they're like, well, what happened here? You realize you did a wrong thing and gave a customer too much power and too much freedom. And if you don't remember when we got Snowy Escape, they added in where we can add things under our counters, which I thought was so revolutionary and just so amazing that you could add that stuff under here. And that's just like, oh, a dream come true. There's so many things I can add under here. So much variety. And then it looks like we have a blender. Ooh, 
a blender. Now, I would love to know how Little Dicka made this object in particular because the blades and the whole like case itself and then, you know, the blender itself and like all these buttons. I wonder how it works IRL. I'm assuming that you probably like open this up and then they pull the stuff in and they close it and blend and you take it out. It probably like works exactly the same. So it's still cool. I like that. Okay. And then also we have this sound emitter coffee shop for ambiance reasons. White noise. I love white noise. I love listening to white noise. It's nice. You can add this basically literally anywhere around your coffee shop and the white noise will just be surrounded by all of that. And this white noise like right here kind of reminds me of the sounds you can make in Animal Crossing. If you have the Happy Home Paradise DLC, there's like this like sound upgrade you get when you build these vacation houses or like these restaurants, you can add that in. And I think it's like so cool to kind of bring it all together in the sim. So it's cool, it's nice. Okay, attention seeker column lighting. I'm assuming this goes on the column that we got from this lovely stuff pack. And I was correct. I was correct. It goes on the light. Oh, wait, that's kind of nice. Wait, what? You can, ch excuse me, you can do what now? I didn't know you could do this. I wonder, wait, that's so cool. You can change like the directions of it, giving it a different like lighting, you know, position. That is so cool. I like that. Okay, that's that's really nice. But then we also have like the buy that merch uh, shelf, which in entails that you can put in your coffee powder pods, your bags, your cups, your tumblers, if you wanted to do that, because Starbucks does that and they add a variety of tumblers and a variety of mugs and powders and pods for you to buy for your own similar home. We have all the fluorescent lights. Now the, the lights, I have to say, caught my eye because how nice they look. Like the, the the shape itself looks nice. And I like the shape of the lights. That's one of them or two of them. We also have the grinder, barista professionista, pro, professionista coffee grinder for the rise and grind. Oh, and this goes on to the thing. Okay. And then we have the espresso maker. Oh, oh, that's so cool. I really like that. That's nice. But it looks like we also have a trash can, a completely hygienic commercial trash can. It's supposed to be clean daily, but do you really trust a big corporation to do that? No, <laughs> corporations don't clean their stuff. It's ridiculous. They don't clean at all. They just sit there and laugh. But it looks like we have this trash can here, which I feel like would go on this side more than the other side. But then again, I just don't know. The murals and the signage. So. Like I said, Nando made the logo icon for the stuff pack and there is actually the logo right there. That's the logo, that's the coffee bean. Again, beantastic. We also have the murals, which I freaking love the most. The murals are so detailed. I like the variety between, you know, clear and cl clean and clear and they have the dusted part of it. And I love the bi colors on this one. I just love the colors and the different variations of it. So that, that speaks to me very much. So I really do like this one the most. And then we also saw this one on the trailer, I believe, of this like cat mural. It gives me childlike wonders and I like that. So this speaks to me very well. I like the colors, I like the variety. I like this one, this is so unique. Ooh, oh, so maybe a local artist drew this for the mural I love. We also got the logo on top of it as well. Now this one, I like this one the most because it speaks to me like an underground speakeasy jazz bar coffee shop where you can go under here, under whatever building and just chill and listen to jazz music. The ambiance is, is needed. And now I kind of want to build a speakeasy, like a building on top of an apartment and then under it is like a speakeasy. A speakeasy is basically a bar, an underground bar. And it's, uh, it's very nice. I like that. I like that mural. And I also like this one too. Splash of coffee. Hmm. Ooh, this is nice. I'm going to move up the light. Move this up here. Oh, this is very like jungle-like. Very jungly colors. Okay, I like. I see you. I see you, Luddy Summer, doing the thing out here in these streets with the Sims. Ooh, woo. And then this one says, you absolutely need to buy this. 
you know, it's a product advertisement. I like that. It's like, you absolutely need to buy all these things because personally, if you don't buy it, what are you doing with your life? Literally, what are you doing? So it looks like we only have like five different product advertisements. We got the special, the freezer bunny coffee, espressos for eight simoleons, or you can buy one of these up here for eight simoleons or two simoleons. And then I like how there's the prices on them too. So you know, you know how much you're actually gonna spend on these things. I would assume there's a variety of menu items that you can choose from. Oh, and next we got the text signage as well for the whole coffee establishment, of course. It's very 3D. And of course, I wish I knew how to make custom content. Like I know how to like make the objects in Blender, but I don't know how to make the textures and make them work and make them look good. So like that's where I'm stuck at on making the textures. Textures are not my strongest suit. I end up flopping after making the object. So personally, Little Dicka, you're doing great things. I will learn from you, <laughs> literally. And then we also have the cafe mural, ah, uh, ah, uh, awnings, a regular piece. And then we have the corner piece as well for the awnings. This is very metal-like. We have this light right here for the logo, of course. And then we have the same one, but in a green swatch. But this one also comes in a variety of swatches as well. Similar to the, you know, the wood swatches, but this one is more simple with less. And I think it makes it better, person with like less for like lights. Cause lights, you can only do so much without having to be too bright and too um, obnoxious. But those are the two lights. And then we also have the side lighting as well or the side signed light thing like you know how you see like in new york or like cities and you have coffee shops where they have like the signage of on the side on a bar side thing this is one of them that's one of them i like that i can get behind that for sure 100 they gave us some sliding glass doors they also gave us a one by one cafe mirror or window which i personally think this is so cool because i would love windows like this and i think the like, idea and the style is really cute. Now we did also get the same window from like the door. And that's what I also personally like the most because you can expand like the sliding glass door to be bigger if you wanted to by adding in the same window or you can just like make it separate if you would like to. Taking it apart makes me happy. So that's cool. Variety is key for me. <laughs> But they did give us like the small, they also gave us the medium one and also the tall one. So small, medium, and tall is what we're here for. They also gave us the same or a different window, but it's a little bit more wider. It's two wide instead of one wide. So if we take out this mural here and then we put these windows here, we have this one, this one, and then we also have this one. I'm gonna expand that because I need to make it bigger. So we have this one right here and then the tall one. So it looks like we gave, they gave us a tall, medium, short, medium, and then like a small one. So we have like four variety ones, four variety windows, all similar, similar style, but in different sizes. But what do we get for the flooring? I know we got actually wood tiles, which I'm personally keen about. So we got this wood flooring right here. We also got regular tiles and then we also got the masonry floor tiles as well. This one's called floor duh, slate tiles. Now this one, I think this one was named by Kayla cause she lives in Florida. So makes sense, floor duh. <laughs> Florida, been there a few times, nice state, great time, Florida. Everything I need is on this grout. So that's a floor tile. And then this one is called aesthetically streaking, aesthetically streaking. Ooh, eco footprint one, no footprint. And then this no footprint. Okay, so level one for the eco footprint. So it's kind of eco-friendly, but not fully eco-friendly. I like that. I love this fence because I like the split in the middle. Like again, Starbucks reference. They have those fences where it's split, kind of. I love that. This is called the path protection fence. Oh wait, Invisi Bear fence is this one. And then we also have the shallowest of fences. But now we have the wallpaper section. So we have four, we have five wallpapers, blackboard, brick roll, named by Kayla, cause it's like basically brick roll, but without the B or with the B, contrast of texture. Everything I need is on this grout, which is basically for this one. And then the shimmering rectangles, shimmering rectangles, like what shimmering? There's a shine to them. 
I think so. I don't know. I can't see it, but I think this looks like really cool. This reminds me of like a subway, and I always love textures like this. Like rectangles like this speak to me. So like it's giving me like major subway vibes right here. Major subway vibes. And then the grout wallpaper and the contrast between textures. Now this one is different because there's different types of textures layered on top of it. Like you have like the you have the rectangle one on top of it. You also have the blackboard on top as well. Kind of sort of like, not really. It's so different. Each and every single one of them are different. You got a black bottom one, you got a tan one, you got a brown middle piece with a black, you got that one. And then you have like this turquoise one too. So like there's a bit of variety of swatches when it comes to this one, which I'm pleased about. And like, as I always say, I love variety. I love when things are different and I like things that have a sense of style. So this pleases me very, very much so. Now this one's a brick roll. Brick roll, rick roll, all the same things. I also can kind of see that this is a wallpaper that has a like a like the piece is gone a little bit like part of the pieces are gone to it on the side like it's split in the middle but once you attach it with another one it's like full circle i kind of i like that i really like that i like this like this brick roll i can definitely use it in a subway even though it's not a tile tile i still do like that tile it speaks to me and then last but certainly not least we have the blackboard now this blackboard could work for you know a school setting i would think so personally i would be down for a school setting stuff pack in my humble opinion because this blackboard is nice it's chalky but it's good it's really good but i believe i actually looked at everything i'm pretty sure oh no i did not i forgot one last thing they gave us stairs we got stairs in this stuff pack now this these stairs and all of these swatches are just my aesthetic. They're aesthetically pleasing to the eye. But either way, I hope you all enjoyed today's review of Rise and Grind Coffee House by Little Dicka. And of course, everything will be linked down below in the description to everyone who made the stuff pack come to life and also along with the Patreon so you can download for yourself if you want to get it today or also next week when it comes out for free on the 26th of December. But either way, as always, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Bye!